What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do an unboxing and review of the new Airfun Wave Pro headphones. Now, from my understanding, this is Airfun's very first dive into the headphone market. So, I'm very excited. I've been impressed with the Airphone 3s, the Free Pro 3s. They, they've been really bringing it. So, let's see what they did, or excuse me, how they did with these headphones. Let's get to it. What's up, YouTube? Before we continue the video, I just want to talk about our sponsor today, Aura. Uh, we, you know, we're all out here on the internet. We're doing our thing. We're banking. We're shopping. We're transferring money. We're on social media. We're we're everywhere on the internet, and we all know that there are some honest, uh, some dishonest brokers out there. Data, you know, as far as <clears throat> data brokers, spammers, scammers, etc that will get your information and try to use it uh, against you to do things like uh, car loans, loans in particular, uh, anything like that, or even to, any, or even to attack you directly. Um, those are instances are out there. So this is where Aura comes in, okay? So Aura does, helps you out, it, what it does actually is it goes out to the internet. It serves to make sure that your identity is safe. If they find uh, your email or anything on blacklists out there in the dark web, do you get notified? So that way these things can be eradicated. They'll also send out opt-out requests on your behalf. So it's a very, very important tool to have, especially if in today's age when we're, you know, internet we're just but we're all about the internet and everything so uh what we did i partnered up with aura and we gonna give you guys a 14 day trial just click on this link here aura dot excuse me <laughs> aura.com slash ron on tech i'm a little excited because uh it it is it, it means a lot um reason why i say that is because i started using or uh, a few days ago now mind you i was very skeptical at first i've been skeptical of these types of things for a while but i did go ahead and i uh, i'm trying it i i said it's been a couple days and just uh five minutes after finishing the uh the account setup process i got three notifications that my email was found on three different uh lists in the, on the black web, on the dark web, three, in five, within five minutes, it, it was incredible, and also frightening at the same time. But it was great to be able to be notified to, uh, about that so quickly, so I could go ahead and respond to it and get it taken care of. And with that being said, it gave me a sense of a uh, uh, a confidence to know that I have uh, this software or I have this company backing me, making sure that my identity is safe out on the internet. And not only your identity, if you your family's out there, you can also protect your family uh, with this software and everything. It, it's a real, uh, really, really good um, company, really good software to use. And I know we all have like our antivirus programs, we use VPNs and everything like that, but what, and those are protecting like your laptop, your personal devices, and you know, you're routing, you know, of course, you know, when you're out there, but what is protecting you? You, your identity, your records, your home address, your family, you, what is protecting you? This is where Aura fills in those gaps. And, you know, of course, they do offer antivirus program. They, all, uh, they also offer VPN. They offer uh, <clears throat> parental control, excuse me. They offer uh, you know, identity theft insurance. You can get all this stuff within that one app. So that way you're not sitting there and you got this version of antivirus, this version of VPN, and then that you can consolidate have it all on one app and it all, you know, works perfectly uh, fine. Uh, and you can go ahead and just go on about your day because or never turns off. It's always on. It's always running. It's always scan scanning, making sure that your uh, identity information or your personal information and not. And also me also includes like your social media sites and stuff like that. If anything tied into those, they also get picked up as well. So you are really, really fully covered. With the or with the or program, I do recommend you guys uh, give it a shot. Again, link here, 
at aura.com slash Ryan on tech. I'll also leave my link in the description of this video. So that way you can go ahead, click on it, try out the 14 day trial and see what you think. Now back to the video. All right, we've got the Airfun Wave Pro headphones. Let's go ahead and dive into uh, price. You can get these for $79.99 on myairfun.com as well as Amazon. I do believe um, Airfun on their website, they do have, uh, they may have, I'm not sure, but you can check it out. They may have like a price rebate on it. I think there's a $10 off one on Amazon. As always, I'll leave links in the description or where you can get these guys so you can go ahead and check out those prices. As far as specs, these headphones rock five point, a Bluetooth 5.3 with codec support of AAC, SBC, and LDAC, as you can see here. As far as noise canceling, they have their uh, Airfun Quiet Smart 2.0 ANC technology, which reduces external noise up to 45 decibels. You know we will definitely be testing that in uh, in our ANC section uh, later on. As far as battery life, uh, with noise canceling turned off, you can get up to 80 hours of playback time. Uh, with noise canceling turned on, you can get up to 55 hours. Uh, they do have quick charge. 10 minutes will give you an additional 10 hours of playback time. I think that is incredible. As far as special features, each ear cup has a 40 millimeter DLC composite diaphragm and PET film composite dynamic drivers. These guys should give you some really, really great sound. We, of course, you know, we'll test that too. They have built-in five mic array with AI for environmental noise canceling. So you can get clearer calls and everything. Uh, again, that will be tested. You got button controls. You got a wire connection support uh, with the uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or headphone jack on here and old cable, which is included. You got 55 millisecond low latency gaming mode, multi-point connectivity, and the Airfun audio app support for both Android and iOS for these he headphones. Feature packed, let's get into these. Let me pull out my knife here. Shout out to my man, Aaron. Always hooks me up. Let's go ahead and at least get this plastic broke so we can rip in. All right. Earphones, first foray into headphones, at least as far as I know. I'm very excited for these. All right, let's go ahead. You know, you got your mission on the front. You got uh, app support, Android, iOS, tells you exactly what comes in the box, but we'll see for sure ourselves. All right. Right off the top, first thing out, well, the only thing out, well, you got your case. This houses the headphones and everything else. We'll take a look at that in a second. In the, also in there is this pouch. Looks like it's just our user manuals and everything like that, but we're gonna crack this open anyway and take a look. Yep, we got our user manual here. So will give us all our information and everything as far as our touch controls and everything like that. We will definitely be holding on to this as well. And we got, what do we have here? Looks like, okay, better sound, better life. Air fun, warranty, 24 month warranty card here. So you can go ahead and register your uh, headphones. That way, if anything goes wrong, they're under warranty you can go ahead and get that taken care of or even replaced. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the headphones. First of all, let's look at this case. Nice little fabric on it. I like the, I like that. Nice hard shell, very sturdy. Got a nice hook so you can hook it on to like your belt or to a carabiner clip or a carabiner clip or a carabine clip or whatever you want to call it. You can hook that on to like your bag, your luggage bag, your gym bag, uh, whatever you're carrying. Or you just carry it like this. You can have it between a couple fingers and you can just, you know, have it down here. You can carry it like that if that's your thing. No problem. You got, I like the fact air front branding on the zipper. Let me see if I can get that up, get that right side up for you. That's very cool. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, but they do have the Airfun logo there. So let's go ahead. Another thing, I like the way the zipper is covered, just in case like you get caught in the rain, 
has like a little bit of covering over it. Very nice. Let's go ahead and get in here. Nice smooth zipper too, by the way. Very smooth going all the way around. Didn't seem to get, you know, too tough to turn to unzip. It didn't get uh, caught on anything. Very nice. All right. You first open it up. Boom. You got the AirFun Wave Pros here. We will come back to them in a second. We got that nice little pocket up here in the corner where you have your what does it look like? Yup, 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter headphone cables. So you can plug right into a device and or you have like your laptop or if your cell phone has a 3.5 millimeter he headphone jack, you can use that. Very nice. And then of course you got your USB-C A to USB-C charging cable. Nicely done. All right, so we'll go ahead and pocket these that because we don't come back to that that 3.5 millimeter jack uh, cable later on in the video. So we'll come back to that. All right, let's go ahead and take and pull these, these bad boys out. Let me flip this around real quick. Take a look, pull them out. Wow, these look nice. All right. Very, very nice. Give me some uh, uh, Sonoflow vibes, uh, almost. Uh, that Just the way they look. Uh, as far as uh, the yokes, uh, the speaker placement for noise canceling, it just it just gives me that look. All right, nice comfortable uh, cups, uh, nice and soft, very soft headband. Plenty of cushion up there on the headband. I like that. Good for long term listening. Not no pressure on the, on the top of your head. All right, we got some plastic here on the arms. Let's go ahead and get that off. All right, let me grab this one. All right, we got that one too. That one was gonna start. Okay, we always see the ratcheting sound of the of the arms extending out. Very nice. And they stay in place seemingly doesn't seem to like that it will go anywhere once you have them on. Let's get this pla let's get this plastic off of here. All right, my fingers rather. All right, I love the the matte finish, which you got the nice little detailing with the uh, the chrome. You got the AirFun logo on both cups. Very nice. All right, let's take a, a real quick trip uh, around the headphone. Obviously, on the left ear cup, on the left ear, you get only your USB-C charging port with the LED. On the right is where all the functionality is. You got your power button at the top. You got your uh, plus and minus buttons here for volume. You got your noise canceling button here as well. You got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, looks like it's also a button here for when noise canceling is turned on, that LED there will light up. Um, I don't know, I think that uh, it might also pose as a multifunction button as well. Either that or the power button will. We'll, you know, we'll walk through the functionalities a little later on. Just wanted to show you um, the button placement and everything. Very, very nice. I like the fact that these things, they swivel and you can, you can, you know, you can fold them up. So you got two ways to store them or you can definitely lay them flat if you're not using them. There you go. Or like, say, for instance, you have them down, you want them to charge, you just lay them flat, plug your charge in. There you go. Or you can sit like this. I prefer to do it that way. Very nice. I like the uh, destruction. Doesn't feel too rickety if you shake it. Has a little bit of rickety sound to it. But still, a very, seems if you've built very, you know, nice and sturdy, uh, although, you know, this plastic in here, and you know, faux leather, but it's still, Sturdy, very light. I really like it. All right, so let's go ahead and get these guys paired up. All right, we're back in. We're gonna go ahead and get these guys paired up. The first, let's see if we got some juice here. All right, we got juice. Now I got the audible, they are in pairing mode. As you can see, the button, the light is flashing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our app here, our Bluetooth settings. Now, no, no Google Fast Pair for these, so it won't automatically connect, so you have to go the long way. Uh, as you can see here, you got, it automatically sees them, so we're gonna go ahead and pair that up. 
All right, we got pairing. Yes, we're going to pair. And boom, they are paired up real quick. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull in uh, my iPhone and we're going to see if multipoint is available right off the top here. We got to fire up the iPhone here real quick. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get this fired up. We're going to turn off Bluetooth from my S23 Ultra. We're going to leave that sit. All right, we are in. Let's go. Let me go ahead and get into the iPhone here. All right, we're in. So now they're back in pairing mode because I disconnected. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our Bluetooth settings in the iPhone. And it already sees them down here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pair it. And it says connected. I got Audible connected. It shows connected. So we're good to go there. So what we're going to do is we'll come back over to the S23 Ultra. And get Bluetooth power back on. I got this way up in the camera. <laughs> All right. So now we're back in. Let's hit Airway, Airfun Wave Pros. And we are connected. Whoops. Ran down the aisle. And we are connected to both devices at the same time. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and test the multi-point functionality uh, as far as uh, listening to audio and audio switching, if that's possible. We're going to see. Let's go ahead and put the... Let's put these guys on. All right. So here we go. We are, let's go ahead and let me see. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab some mute, some uh, audio here. Actually, you know, we just wanna go, yeah, we'll go into mine here. We're gonna go here. All right, let's go ahead and get into an app. All right, so we're gonna hold that one. We'll get this one together here. All right, so now we're ready on both sides here. All right, so we got the uh, Apple, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the iPhone 13 Pro Max here. We got the S23 Ultra here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and do our multi-point uh, audio test. So let's go ahead and hit play on the Galaxy. Audio is playing perfectly out of there. Okay. okay. So we're gonna pause that, and then let's go over to the iPhone. All right, we got audio out of that one as well. So now let's see if we get audio switching out of these, all right? So let's go ahead and try that. As of right now, right out of the box, audio switching does not work. So I will physically have to pause my first device and then play audio off my second device, all right? And then, and then pause that, go back to it. Now, it, when, you, when you do that, it takes a couple seconds. All right, let me pause that. Now go here. One, two, three, four. Four seconds from, for the Android to pop up to audio to come through that. One, two, three. Three seconds for the iPhone. So there's a few second uh, transition time uh, for your audio to pick up from both of them. This is right out of the box now. If there's any updates or anything like that, I haven't run them yet. As you can see, we just unboxed it together. But multi-point does work. As of right now, audio switching does not. Let's continue. All right. We're in the audio, the, excuse me, the earphone uh, app for the app, for the for their devices rather. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and add the headphones in. Airphone Wave Pros, they're searching for them. All right, this shouldn't take long. Okay, there we go. And we are connected in. Let's go ahead and pop. All right, real quick, you always do this when you do when you get new devices, you wanna go ahead and tap and make sure there is, a, there's an update. there is an update here, as you can see the red dot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tap on there. There's the update. So what we wanna do now is we're gonna run this. Actually, let me see what it is about first. Okay, added the function of adjusting the volume of the Wave Pro 
prompt. Okay, so the uh, sound prompt's getting uh, volume. It's getting the volume trick uh, toggle. All right, it optimizes the UI interface and bug fixes. Okay, so let's see if audio switching is in here as well. But we'll go ahead and run this update, and then we'll come back. All right, back in. We ran the update. Let me go back in here. I don't know. It just went into lock mode. All right, we did the update. Um, let's go ahead and breeze through. It's similar just to the uh, if you have like the any of the Airfun uh, earbuds, the Air Pro threes, the Free Pro threes, uh, the uh, Free Pros, and all of them. It's pretty much the same thing. You got the name of the earbuds or headphones at the top. You got your gear button near that settings. We'll come back to that. You got a picture of your headphones with the battery level. You got your uh, noise canceling selections here. You got normal ambient sound, wind noise canceling, comfort ANC, and strong ANC. So you can get the switch between those. And also here you've got your uh, game mode, which you can switch on and off. You've got uh, your your excuse me your earphone equalizer. Okay, you can go in where you've got your default sound. You've got the uh, which is the earphone classic. Then you got your presets. Uh, you know, your basic presets from Airfun. Okay, you can select one of those. And you have a customized equalizer where we can go, you can go ahead and set your uh, own EQ settings and everything like that. We'll come back and play with that during the sound test. And of course, you got your customized controls. Uh, you got the single tap uh, where you can volume up. Uh, then you got the long, long press. You know, you can select those two options there. So, and of course, that's for the plus. And you go into the middle. The, oh, excuse me, the volume minus, then you go volume down. If you long press, you can do a previous track. I think I'm gonna leave mine like that. Then the noise canceling, tap once. You can go ahead and cycle through your noise canceling. You tap twice. Uh, I think I'm gonna do uh, play pause for that one. Or actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna switch that. I'm gonna do play pause for my single tap. And then uh, cycle through my noise canceling with the long press. All right, so you do got some good functionality there. Uh, only you only got a single press and long press, but still you can switch it up, customize it to however you want, which is great. All right, so then of course uh, we can go up into the gear option to go into our settings. Here you'll find where you can do your firmware updates. You got your product tutorial, frequently asked questions. Again, you've got your Earphone, air, your equalizer, which we showed in the main screen. Here you've got Bluetooth audio quality. You can switch on for LDAC and, you know, stable connection first. Of course, with LDAC, um, the multi-point option is disabled. So you cannot have multi-point connectivity while in LDAC mode. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll switch off the LDAC mode to later on. And we'll come back on for the sound test. But just wanted to let you guys know. All right, so then of course you've got your game mode, which we showed up in the front screen. Customized controls, which again we showed you your dual device connection. Right now it's turned off because LDAC is turned on. All right, then of course you've got your voice wizard settings. You tell your volume level for your, vo your voice wizard. Then of course what language you want. Then of course you've got automatic shutdown. I got mine set for 30 minutes, so if it's, sit, if it's sitting, sitting around, not doing anything, no audio being played through it for 30 minutes, it will shut off to say battery uh, or whatever setting you set it at. Then of course you got your factory reset option here at the bottom, next to the bottom. At the, and then of course at the very bottom, you could delete the device out of the app if you need to say, for instance, you sold them, lost them, or need, you know, you know things like that nature, gave, gave them to a family member or a friend and, uh, and everything like that. All right. so. That is a quick walkthrough of the app for the Earphone Wave Pros. Let's continue. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the button controls. Now I already showed you uh, how I have mine customized from the volume plus, the volume minus, and the noise canceling button. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, go through and see how fast the response time is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get into our music. All right, so we don't have uh, an in-ear detection sensor uh, for the headphones, so we don't have, have to wear them to do this. So we could go ahead, let me go ahead and get this in a better position there. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. 
All right, we have audio, just wanted to hear it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and use the noise canceling. Now I have it set for, if I press and hold, you just do single tap rather, it will pause the audio. And as you can see, it did. All right, let me get in a little closer here, a little tighter. All right, so now as you can see, it went ahead and paused the audio. So now we can go ahead and again. All right, audio is now playing. Now if we turn up the volume, put the volume plus button here, you can see the audio going up, volume down, volume going down, okay? So that works. So now what we wanna do is we wanna long press the volume plus button here. That should take us to the next track. And it did, all right? So now we long press the, uh, the volume minus button. It should take us back to the beginning of this song and then take us back to the previous song. All right, took us back to the beginning. And it took us back to the previous song. Uh, song. So all, <clears throat> excuse me, all the functions, all the controls do work as programmed and they're very, they respond very nicely. So you don't have to wait too long for everything to move. Oh, one more thing. I do have it set for long press that will go into the noise canceling feature. Um, I'm, my, my, I think, I believe, excuse me, I believe that it goes into your last noise canceling setting. So I had mine last, I believe it was on strong um, or I put it on strong. No, I had it on ambient. Sorry, I had it on ambient mode. So next, if I do a long press on this, it will take me into ambient mode. And then of course, uh, cause, because that was my last uh, known uh, um, noise canceling setting. So just to be aware that whatever it is, if you're on your long, your the last known noise canceling session, uh, setting will be your long press if you go ahead and set it up that way all right so all the buttons work they work nicely quickly responding let's continue one more thing real quick i want to let you guys know that when you do press and hold the uh noise canceling button i have my set to cycle through noise canceling uh my noise canceling options when i press and hold it my well, long press it rather as they call it uh it does cycle through your normal ambient sound and noise canceling and it will take you to the strong a and c option so it's not your la it's not the last one that you had set that you use it will cycle cycle you through those three options i just wanted to make that clear this is a mic test with the airplane wave pro headphones in a quiet location this is a mic test with the Airfun Wave Pro headphones in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Airfun Wave Pro headphones in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Airfun Wave Pro headphones in a crowded location. All right, we are out back in my backyard. We'll do a, 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 a noise canceling test for the Airfun Wave Pro headphones. Let me uh, paint the picture for you right now. Um, like I said, we out in my backyard. Uh, we got audio from traffic right here behind my house. We got audio uh, from the Turnpike Bridge. It's heavy traffic there. We got wind noise. I don't know if you guys been picking that up on the mic, but we got a lot of uh, ambient sounds going on. So it's a uh, very good test bed today. I'm trying to get this done before it starts raining again. So let's get to it. All right. So right now we are in ambient mode here on the phone. All right, so what we wanna do now is we're gonna go ahead, since your air unit just kicked on, fantastic, right on time. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead, and first we're gonna try the wind noise canceling here. So let's go ahead and put that on. All right, now I got uh, good, I got some wind blowing. I'm in wind noise canceling mode, and it did knock it out. I still feel it, but I don't hear it. So. The mics are working fantastic when it comes to wind noise reduction or canceling altogether. However, I can, because it's just doing the wind, I can still hear the central air unit. I can still hear the traffic uh, from the turnpike a little bit. Uh, well, you know, it did dial that down just a bit, so, but I'm still able to hear it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into comfort noise canceling. All right, now we're in comfort noise canceling. All right. 
the dial down the uh, central air unit here a little bit. However, the wind noise returns slightly. So you're just a give and take there with noise canceling or ANC and then wind noise canceling. So you want to uh, keep that in mind. Uh, the traffic noise from the uh, turnpike has dialed down a little, has down a little bit. Um, it's not completely uh, canceled out, but it's uh, barely hit, uh, noticeable. And the traffic behind me, uh, the noise has been completely eliminated. I cannot hear, I can see the cars, I cannot hear the cars. So that's really good. So what we're gonna do now is we'll quickly jump over to strong, strong noise canceling. All right, now I'm a strong noise canceling. I cannot hear the uh, turnpike traffic. I can't hear that. I can't hear the uh, traffic here on the street behind on, behind my house. I can't hear that. However, I can still hear the central air units. Now I can hear my no my neighbors a little bit. Mine's just cut off, but my neighbors, I can still hear a little bit there. So the uh, strong setting for noise canceling is doing a really, really, really good job. Uh, is it both Sony level? No, I'm not. It's not up there, but it's really, really good. I, I'm very, very impressed with it. So if I had to grade it on a scale of one to 10, one being absolute trash, 10 being the best ever, I... I give these a, eh, I say I give them about an eight. I give them an eight. I, I give it an eight because uh, the reason being is all the first of all, all the functions work. If I'm in wind noise kind of wind noise canceling, it cancels the wind noise. It does what it says it does. It does. It says rather, and then when it goes to your your comfort ANC, it does switch off. Go to strong. It gets a little better. So. I'm gonna give them all the props in the world on that. They really did come through on that uh, portion of it. So that's the reason, not to mention how well it's, it's knocking out all the uh, ambient sound around me. So it does a really good job. So I'm gonna give them an eight, uh, probably some of the best noise canceling functionality I've heard uh, overall. Like, like I said, all the features, all the functions work. So that's another reason why they're so high. So this has been an ANC test for the new Earfun Wave Pro earbuds or headphones. I'm about to cause <laughs> so used to the Earfun earbuds. But anyway, the Earfun Wave Pro headphones, as I get it right, they're doing a really good job bringing these out. All right, we are back in. What we're gonna do now is our sound test. We've got the headphones on and up and Actually, I want to show you my equalizer setting. I pretty much going into my uh, my default. These are my EQ settings that I use with the headphones, uh, that V shape basically. So what we're going to do now is we'll go ahead and get into. Make sure that's pick. Let me go ahead and save this. I thought I saved it. I didn't. Let me go ahead and fix this. All right, now we got to save <laughs> in the system. All right, here we go. All right, so now let's check. Okay, so what we all want to show you guys also is under um, going to settings here real quick. Bluetooth quality. We are on LDAC, so we want to go into the settings here. I want to make sure. Actually, let's go into the Bluetooth settings. I'm going to run about way here. Forgive me. All right, just bear with me a second. All right, we'll go into the headphone. We're going to turn LDAC on here. All right. Glad, good thing we did go in there. LDAC was turned off. So now LDAC is turned on in the settings within Android. So we got that. So let's go ahead and um, actually, let's go ahead and see what we got as far as, L, as, far as LDAC goes. Let's see where we're at. All right. So we're at LDAC. We got 9600, 96.0. Um, kilohertz 32 bit sample so we should get some really good sound here as well so let's go ahead and well it's not there let's go ahead and jump into our first song we'll make sure we have optimal listening level i usually keep my headphones right about here because uh they have bigger they have bigger diaphragms so they give me a lot more sound all right so here we go let's get it okay Nice sound, 
nice clarity. The piano sound nice and crisp. Okay, now I just noticed something that I'm not in noise canceling. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip to noise canceling. All right, that was my bad. Okay, sounds even better. Got the nice sound from the uh, background instruments as well. Nice rumble from the cello. All right, again, vocals are nice and clean and clear on this one. Now we got the background vocalist coming in. Again, wines out. Nice sound. It does it. A nice, I like the clarity, the detail, got that little, that little violin in there. I like the way that sounds. Now, personally, I would turn this up another notch to get a little bit more out of it. I think this would be my preferred setting for these headphones. Again, this is, we're doing this with the uh, Bluetooth. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our bass song now. We're going to go down to our bass woofer test. We're going to see how it handles that low end bass uh, and everything. So let's go ahead. Nice. Ooh, okay. See, I hear that handles that low end. Here we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds nice. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. That bass is so clean sounding. Oh, gives you that reverb. That reverb in there is just so nice. I know I probably sound like I'm yelling, but I have it on noise canceling. But man, oh, that sounds so good. Oh, <laughs> that last kick, boy, that's so good. Oh, good bass. That low end reverb is crazy. Oh, <laughs> oh, sounds so good. All right, I get lost in that. Sounds so good. Oh, it sounds so good for these are now granted. These are uh, uh, less. These earbuds are less than our headphones. Sorry, are less than a hundred bucks. But man, it holds that that low end bass. Mm, so good. All right, just real quick. We're going to go ahead and just do a little bit of uh, E40. Let's see how we do. Again, that bass, that reverb is so strong. Now, I'm, I'm going to stick here long. I don't want to get just a little bit of that bass. Oh, it sounds real good. All right. Vocals came in crystal clear, but I wanted to hear the bass in comparison to the... Uh, the subwoofer test, but man, it handles low end bass wonderfully. Uh, I, I can't even complain. I really can't. It just, oh, it was just so good. The reverb was incredible. All right, let's go ahead and get into our final song here. All right, we got Going Home, Kenny G. All right, again, nice warm start up. Sounds nice and clean. Again, got that balance. So let's, let me see how the saxophone is here. Okay, nice and crisp. Good clarity. Nice balance, so it doesn't sound like it's uh, like to repress, like it's in the background as opposed to the background instruments. Um, Nice little thump from the drums here as well. If you're listening to this and you pay attention, the drums gives you a nice little bump. Here's the high note. Oh, very nice. Now we got the rest of the background instruments coming in. Again, wise out the sound stage. Gives you a fuller sound. Very nice. Again, nice uh, detailing from the keyboard. In that last section there, just a great sound. Sounds really good. Mm. Yeah, 
I approve of that. It sounds really good in my opinion. All right. Uh, great overall sound test for these guys, especially on that low end test. That was really good. So what we're going to do now, let's go ahead and talk about my likes and dislikes. Stay strapped in. All right, real quick, what I wanted to test is using the, th the 3.5 millimeter headphone jet, uh, cable going into the uh, headphones. We want to go ahead and test that just to see how they sound real quick uh, with that, you know, through this hard line connection. We all know that audio sounds clear with a direct, when you have the hard line as to Bluetooth and all that. Oh, you understand. But I just want to hear from myself and share it with you guys. Uh, so here we go. We will go ahead and try to and just do the low end test. Uh, let me go ahead and just put these right here at about 65%. I think that's my limit uh, for these. Let's go ahead and get it going. Now, real quick, before you know, Bert, just want to let you know when you do use your online, your inline connection, your 3.5 millimeter connection, you cannot use the app, so you cannot do any type of uh, changes there. And your touch controls on the headphones do not work. So you're basically uh, using uh, your controls from your phone, and that's it. All right, just wanted to let you guys know that. Let's dive in. All right. You see how this sounds now? Okay, it looks like I have to turn these up. All right, we max out. We have to max out here. Oh. Oh. Okay. That hit me like a rock. <laughs> But it's nice and clean and clear. I just want to get that low end bass. I want to hit. I want to hit that. Woo! There it is. <laughs> All right, it sounds real good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's serious. All right, I didn't want to stay on that too long, but man, that hits. All right, let's go ahead and just jump into uh, Kitty G real quick. I just wanted to hear some. Actually, no, we're not gonna go into Kitty G. We're gonna do some. Uh, uh, let's do some. Uh, 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 okay, Lenny Kravitz. His name is right there. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get in here. All right, I have to turn that down because that is blazing me. All right, that's comfortable. All right, now. Again, very clean, very clear. Get some vocals. Sounds very clean. A nice wide sound, set, wide open sound. Sounds really good. Again, no EQ settings uh, that can be used. Actually, work with me here just a moment. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we play here. Okay, so if you have a Samsung phone, you can come inside here and play on their equalizer, and it seems to work a little bit. It does seem to work. So if you're using a Samsung phone or Android, uh, you can go in here and play with the equalizer, and it definitely will work. Definitely improve that. So you can use your EQ within your app in your phone. Very cool. All right. So again, works very, very nicely. It sounds really good. Bass sounds good. Vocals sound good. Instruments sounds good with the long, hard line in, as we all would know. But you can also go in and play with the app. If I'm, a, I'm not sure if it's in other Android devices, but if you have a Samsung phone, you could definitely do it here. Let's continue. All right, we're back in. Let's go ahead and talk about my likes and dislikes. Um, let's go ahead and start with my dislikes because I believe that is uh, pretty much the uh, shortest list, obviously. Um, and the only thing, I can't really find any real dislikes about it other than the power button. You got to hold it so long for it to turn on and turn off. That's that's a bit annoying. Um, I don't know. Uh, everything else seems good. I mean, the plat, you know, 
got that that sound there. I think I don't like that, but it's, other than that, I think that's because I have the hub, the yeah, it's definitely the arms here. But other than that, uh, very lightweight, very comfortable headphones. I uh, had them on for a little while, and they were really, really comfortable. Didn't have any type of uh, uh, pain on top of my head, and the clamping force was nice. Wasn't too uh, wasn't too tight. Wasn't pushing in too tight. Uh, even if it did push in a little tighter, these ear cup, these cushions would have basically taken care of any type of pressure there, made it even more comfortable. Uh, but other than that, I think these were pretty good. I didn't have a uh, pretty much any anything bad to say about them or any dislikes other than the button control, uh, the power button taking so long to, uh, uh, you know, you know, too long to you know, turn off the, the device and then turn it back on. Um, oh yeah, the only thing I wish it did have, even though it did cover uh, everything with the uh, long press option for, you know, plus, and, you know, navigating through your phone, through your audio, I wish they would have gave you more features and everything, more more button controls, such as double press, uh, triple press, things like that, where you can really fine tune uh, your, um, your controls for the uh, headphones. But other than that, they were pretty, that's pretty much all I think I, I my dislikes. Now let's talk about my likes. I like the look. I like the weight, very light. I love the softness of the uh, cushions on both the ear cups and the band. Very nice. Uh, the, the clicking, the adjustments, very nice. They stay in place no matter how you do it. Very rigid, very strong. I like that. You, got, you know, you really got to put some force in it to make them go down, which I like. That means they stay in place uh, and that will last longer. Um, the app, very intuitive. I like that. The sound was great. Um, I was still going to have to play around with the EQ settings to find my uh, find where I, I am 100 percent behind it. But the vocal clarity was really good. The bass was great. It takes uh, right away. It takes uh, basically the same path as the free pro threes, air pro threes, how the bass sounds really good on these. They are right up in there with that. Uh, just very, very nice, especially for uh, headphones that are less than a hundred bucks. These are your budget headphones. These are great. I can't wait to put these up head to head against other uh, sub $100 or uh, sub $150 headphones for that matter, um, uh, just to see how they compare uh, with those. So let me see, I think that covers all of my life, I like the fact that it comes with the case. Uh, some under a hundred bucks do not come with a case. Yes, I'm talking about you, Tozo. Uh, yes, to a certain extent. Uh, one more. Yes, I'm talking about you as well. Um, and, and even Soundcore, some of their lower end, Soundcore, their lower end headphones, less than a hundred bucks, did not come with a case. Yes, I'm talking about them too as well. So I like the fact that they did include that in there. That was a really, really great uh, add on. I'm glad that came right out of the box. And I think that will cover it all. So let's go. This has been, we're going to wrap this up right now. <laughs> all right, let's get to the outro. So this has been unboxing and review of the new Airfun Wave Pro headphones. Very great, very good uh, budget headphones. If you're looking for a pair to use on a daily basis and, you know, for traveling or anything like that. Definitely something to look at. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to join me as I continue to do unboxings for products like this and others, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way you notify when videos like this and others drop. And I see you guys on the next one. I really can't wait to get these in the head to head. Peace.